Good morning. Hey again. We'll just warm this beast up. Anyway, uh, first of all, a massive thank you to those of you who joined up with the Patreon we set up. That's the reason I'm back. Simple as that. So without your contribution, there'd be no video. And in effect, if you haven't paid for the Patreon or haven't joined it, then everyone else who has is carrying you, so join up, please. Dollar a month's all it takes. Anyway, yeah, today, what are we doing, mate? Today's a good day. Ooh, yeah, hey. Ooh, yeah. I haven't been hunting for a whole bloody week. I've been teaching music, but today, we're going to kick off. Well, first of all, we're going to go and pick up young Miles. Now, his mother phoned me, and his father doesn't hunt, his mother doesn't hunt, his brother doesn't hunt, he doesn't know anyone who does, and so um, his mum phoned me and said, can you take my boy out for a hunt? Well, you know, I just get calls all the time and I get asked all the time, but they live close by, so I thought, well, I'll go around and see him, and have a talk to him and see if he fits the bill, and what a neat character. He's a hard-working kid, and we're going to try and get him onto his first pig, his first goat, and hopefully, I'm not guarantee it, but his first deer. So this morning we've got Po in the back somewhere, and we've got Tinks in the front, eh? Because you're just like a house dog, it comes everywhere with me now. And uh, we're hunting on private land, that's the go. And then in the Arvo, we're going to go out onto the rifle range, 243, and give them a bit of practice of that. And then in the evening, we're going to go on some more private land where there's a shitload of goats, and hopefully get him to bloody his compound bow on a goat. Now, it's his first time he's never shot anything other than a hare. I think he told me. So um, hopefully we can get a pig today and a goat. I'll be happy with one of either. And the day after that, we're going to go into some more private land that's got a lot of deer coming onto it from the forestry behind it. So that's the plan. Anyway, I'll stop the yakking and we'll start driving and head down to Miles's place. You excited, Tinks? Fuck yeah, mate! I'm sick of sitting at home with my ass! Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm not particularly happy about it, but hey. We're getting there, we're halfway there. Can't wait to go full time, I want to go more fucking pig hunting. Fuck this in and home all the time. Yeah, right, mate. Good morning. Morning. Sorry about that, my lawn did not go off. No worries. So, that's alright. You sleep? Yep. Obviously. <laughs> So I just found out that this fence actually is going. Cheers, bro. <laughs> I got set up, I reckon. I reckon you set me up, eh? Hey? Yeah. You knew it was going, didn't you? Well, yeah, it got me before as well. So. That is just now fresh air, so we're in the right place. Good pig, too. Alan doing the uh, security up here and his dogs want to shag Poe, I think she's coming to heat. Hey Poe. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gone back Has he? Yeah, yeah. They're keen. So we didn't have a very successful hunt, did we bud? No. We actually came across another hunter, which uh, he said he was up there just uh, making sure there's no poachers up there. Although he did have two pig dogs with him. Uh, anyway, uh, no worries. but. We're now heading towards the Cable Bay Rifle Range. That's run by local bloke Bruce Harvey. So we're going to get this guy here uh, onto a bit of shooting. Yeah. And then after we've done that, we're going to go for a hunt with a bow. This one's 30, 60, 100. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'd lose my balls if they weren't in a bag. I left all the targets at home on the kitchen table for today. Perfect. Not what the car was designed for, and I do apologise, Angeline, but uh, they're going to work a treat. My apologies again, Smash's mum. You confident going at 50? I hope so, yeah. Okay. Well, it's shooting pretty straight, the rifle. I put one on the target just now, and it was just about bullseye, a fraction low, but that's just me. So the, the rifle shooting okay. Keep your breathing steady, just breathing out gently and just squeezing 
and no hesitation at the thought of the shot. So he's gone a bit low, there's old Clay's one there and he's down here, so you're kind of dropping a bit, eh? That's you bro, not the gun. <laughs> Sorry. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Looking a bit shell shocked. How do you reckon that was? Oh no, it didn't. Didn't it? Yeah. Where'd you go this time? Oh no, you're closer, mate. You're in the middle. That's the best shot so far, I reckon, as far as middle goes. Wow. Was it that one there? Yeah. That's not bad. It's all going a bit low, isn't it? I'll pump one into it and see what I'm like. Well, up at the rifle range, and I just met Brad. Yeah, this is Brad. No. It's Brad, and this guy here, his name is. Brad. <laughs> It's Brad and Brad. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, you're the first guy I've met Brad and ages, then I've met a double, double whammy. Yep. Okay, bro, let's pack these rifles and go and kill something. Yep. <sighs> this place is prolific with goats. They come out of the forest here. There's a big open paddock over here and the wind is in our favour. So we're going to sneak up and hopefully Miles can take one in the open. This will be the best bit of open footage I've had if we can get it, bro, because it's out in that grass out there. Yeah. But uh, getting cover to sneak up is going to be the challenge for you. Yeah. Moving across that way. Yeah. Can you just see where they're going from yeah. here? They're moving but you get that spur up there. Yeah. You're going to have to get closer bro. What you've got to do is you've got to keep on, no no no, keep your eyes on the goats. As soon as he's looking at you, stop, you freeze. Keep close, the go low, go low. Cannot move while he's watching you. Fresh your body. There you go. Keep your eyes on him all the time. You're going to need to get closer. There we go. That's your goat there. That's it. That's your goat there. That's it. That's your goat, bro. Hurry up. That's the shot, mate. That's the shot. Take it, take it. That's the shot, bro. Take it. You're moving too much. He's seen you. I can't get you much closer than that, eh? Don't move, don't move, don't move. Just relax. Well, he missed that one. Looks like we got hungry tonight. They've gone over the ridge. We get another chance. Don't let them see you. Yeah, there we go. Go for the heart. A bit higher. Wait, 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 wait. You got it. I think you hit the femur artery, so I think it'll bleed out. We'll just wait. Okay. It's gone right through it. Yeah, it's gone. Let's we'll see what's going on down here. Just follow this blood down here. Shh, shh, there goes, there goes, there, look. Best thing you can do is tackle it and cut its throat. So when you cut its throat, when you bring the knife under the jaw, you want to feel the edge of the jaw right up. So you're going right up to the back, and you can snap the neck back if you want to. But just be very careful that you don't hurt yourself. First of all, grab the goat. Make sure you've got the goat in your hand. Once you've got it contained, then draw your knife, then cut its throat. Okay. Grab it! Right, under the jaw, that's it. Go under the jawbone. You okay? Yeah, okay. 
How was it? Be honest. Pretty shit. I'd rather have been quicker and not had to do this. Um, yeah. You know. They say actually that's that's a good shot to bleed out. Well, it is because you got the femoral yeah. artery, and it's yeah. exactly what was going on. So, femoral artery. Yeah. There we go. Exit somewhere. You think what? That makes people not want to take bow hunters out because they don't think it's clean. Well, I can tell you that as a pig hunter, I have caught with my dogs pigs that have three legs because they've been shot badly by hunters with rifles. Yeah. All hunting has an aspect that can sometimes be less favourable. All killing does, whether it's in a, a professional abattoir in a proper situation that's uh, controlled or it's in the field. There's always things that can go slightly wrong. This wasn't a massive disaster. This animal, it wasn't in any real big pain. It was a bit um, confused what was going on. It wasn't crying. And believe me, goats will cry at the smallest thing, you know. If you, you, when you grab them, they only cried when you grabbed it. Mm. And that wasn't the pain. It was to tell the other goats, help me out, you know. I, I need help. I'm being tackled here. But it was just quietly bleeding out. It was pretty humane, even though it may not appear to be. I mean, if it had, they had two dogs pulling bits off it while it was alive, then I'd say that was traumatic for the goat, but it wasn't. It, the arrow went straight through it, and it started to bleed out. And as a hunter, it's your first chance. And, you know, people can say what they want about bow hunters, but you can get better at it and uh, perfect it. Yeah. Um, don't feel bad about it. Well, if you really do feel bad, then take a look at it and have a think about it. Maybe, you don't, maybe you're not meant to be a bow hunter. I don't know. Maybe this is telling you something, I don't know. Everybody's got to find out their truth, you know? Yeah. And grab your bow with one hand. There you go, do a squat and you'll be sweet as. Well, a long day. I got up this morning at 4.30 and picked up Miles. He actually had a wee sleep in this morning. <laughs> Try to catch a pig. Tried as hard as we could, but someone had already been up in there. There are pigs there, but she'd been hunting quite a bit. In the rifle range, which is fun, eh? Yeah, Enjoy yeah that? that was good. And uh, he's finally got some meat to take home. What's your mood now, be honest? What is it now? Um, I'm just happy to have a bit of meat as well. Mm. Haven't had a lot of goat, so I'm excited to see what it tastes like. Right. What I can do with it. Goat is delicious. We'll go over here, bro. It's a bit of a spew. Sweet as. Good morning. Well, our time is just after quarter past five in the morning. We're cruising through Tasman right now. I've got the sea on the left hand side of me. What a uh, mild morning. In the back of the truck, we've got Diego, the great white land shark, all 45 kg of him. Bob, and Tinks, he's a Wallet Terrier, and Shoppy, also a Wallet Terrier. Poe is on heat right now. So she is staying at home. Feels a bit strange going away, leaving the main dog behind. But uh, an opportunity for Bob to step up. Hopefully do something good. We're going to be picking up Smash, Knuckles, and Miles. Hey Smash, how you going bro? Good to see you man. What do you got there man? Whiskey. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder who bought that. I'll just show you her clothes because I'm not allowed to film her. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much. That's alright, it's my pleasure. Thank you for looking after Smash. Jeez. How you going there Knuckles? Alright? Don't look at my whiskey mate, you're not having it. <laughs> I know you are. I know exactly what you're thinking. How you going bro? Good. You're looking good man. You've lost more weight, yeah? yeah? You're looking trim ass, bro. All that goat chasing I've done all week. <laughs> Did you shoot any goats? No, we didn't come across any that we were able to shoot, but oh, yeah? we ended up rounding up 38 of them. Oh, yeah, cool. Bring them down to the cattle yards. So awesome. Yeah. Well, I've got me lunch of the day. We'll get on the road. <laughs> That'll do. So, introductions. It's uh, Smash beside you, bro. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's Miles. I'll smash his nickname. And uh, that's Knuckles there in the front. 
speak of the devil, there he goes. Sorry about the light. Uh, hey Alex. Yeah, yeah. I saw your Facebook thing, anybody want to go for a hunt and you found these bastards to go with you. Oh, your bro's stuck in the back there. Yeah. Fuck me dead, man. It's so bloody small in there. It's pretty, yeah, pretty tight in here. Anyway, uh, good luck, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. The wakey bakey, eh? Yeah. So, what dogs you got there? Dogs in the back, bro? No, I got all mine. Oh, oh yeah. All ready. Oh, okay. Got the afternoon. So, yours will be fresh for the Arvo. Shit. Tomorrow. Do you like his jacket? He's good. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's not bad. It's comfy, yeah. yes. He, um, he lost weight so he could fit into it. He's gone down to a mere 162 <laughs> kg. <laughs> Looks good on him. Comfy, yeah. yeah, man, it, it's a good, good fit. Oh, get some, some kai for these guys. Good to see you. That's where a lot of the uh, pig hunters come in the morning, the wakey bakey. Get a tucker for the day. It's always some in here. G'day, mate. It's one of Nook's dogs. G'day. Come on, dogs. Come on. Dogs all scenting something across that river, eh? Dogs currently over here. Bob, shopping, got Tinson, and Diego also. But we just heard over here. Just heard a uh, pig break. Look at the wind coming from us going in, that pig's picked up our scent. But the dogs have heard that as it busted out of its nest, it's quite loud. Looking at the GPS now, the dogs are tracking it, they're off, see? Yeah, it's looking good. It's really, really thick country and we're using big dogs today. We've only got choppies, the smallest dog. We've got uh, the tinks right where I want her, just staying by me. Good kill. Haven't stopped it yet. Up ahead. My dog's all back in a bit tired. Choppy's still out. Hunting the dogs with that poe is not uh, going very well. We've had a couple of pigs we've actually been on, but not actually caught. A bark out of Choppy, or might have even been Tinks, but nothing stopped. It's almost like they're lost without their alpha bitch in the pack. They're sort of all running around a bit loose and up and down and back and forward, not really working to any plan. You're a fussy choppy. Get up. Get it in ya. Don't spit it out. That's a good boy. Good boy. Mmm, yum. Enjoy that. Good kill. You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm not hurt? It's my lace just caught. Okay. Not a bit. Okay. That's why you have your laces down up tight, bro. Just for that very reason. Look at a lot of respect for pigs, eh? They're an amazing animal to hunt, highly intelligent. And more than often they outsmart you or outsmart your dogs. This one pig's been outsmarting me the whole season. I think if I ever catch him, it's going to feel bad about sticking him because he's such a bloody clever pig. He didn't make it through the season this far without uh, being clever, so he got that big. He would have been chased so many times and still away. One of these fellas are all a bit tired. Hope he's living the good life. Choppy. What are you doing, Choppy? Bloody house dog, hey? In the truck, come on. Get up. Bob, up. Get him, Bob. Good dog. Diego. Get up. Diego in. Good boy. Okay. One feet, one feet. Good stuff. Yeah, that'll be right. I'm not a, I'll say this now to you guys, I'm not a hunting guy. I don't charge anybody for the hunts we go on. I just do it to help young guys get out the scrub so I can share something before I uh, leave this life and go to the next life, leave something behind. And that's basically what it is, teaching skills. Otherwise, you take it to the grave. What's the point in that? Plus, I enjoy the company of young people. They've got good energy and they look at everything from a whole different perspective. 
their enthusiasm is amazing and it's infectious, it rubs off on you. So there's a lot to be gained from both sides. Today, hopefully, we're going to get Miles onto a deer. I've got two, four, three in the back. I had him out at the rifle range the other day and he was alright. So, we'll see how the weather treats us. We'll get into the scrub and see if we can get some meat from to take home to his family. So we are taste of that and tell me how fresh you think it is, bro. <laughs> It's the hind. It's gonna reveal itself any minute. Yelling. Safety off. Don't shoot a moving target. How was it? Yeah, it was exciting. Um, we just waited up here for it to come by. Patient. Wait for the right shot. Yeah, it's good. Are you happy with your shot? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> down, isn't it? So. Yeah. Are you more happy than you were with the goat that we first got? Yeah. That thing was dead within four seconds, bro. And yeah, no, I'm a lot more happy. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's awesome. Well, we've been hunting how many hours today? What's it going to? What's the time? What's the track? Well, actually, we've been hunting since yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're up at like, I don't know, early, dark, all day yesterday, nothing with the pigs. And uh, the day's getting late today. Yeah. So, um,. Got a result, bro. Yeah. We'll go down and look at your kill. It's going to be easy to get out of here. Congratulations, bro. Where'd you shoot it, mate? Put that rifle on us. Don't point that rifle towards me. Point it away, good boy. Where'd you hit it? Hey, well done, man. That's a good shot, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Through the engine room. Yeah. Roll it over, show me the other side. You nailed it. Gotta bludge you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. Thanks. Yeah. Hey mate, that's awesome. That's Ooh. awesome. That's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Oh wow. It was a really good calculated shot. They were coming up the ridge line and we could see them moving and he parked himself up with the bipod. He didn't rush it, he just did everything perfectly. And now he's got a whole lot of meat to take home for his family. Ooh. Yeah bro. <laughs> yeah. Open your guts up. You get your knife? No, I lost it. He lost his knife yesterday in the bush when we were pig hunting. <laughs> As it so happens, good bastard. <laughs> By the name of Nigel Wilson, gave me this beautiful knife yesterday. Check it out. It's razor sharp. 
I haven't even blooded it yet. You know what BG stands for, don't you? BG. Yeah, beer. Bear Grylls. Yeah, that's the Bear Grylls. Yeah, that, I, that's the Bear Grylls. My brother has one similar to that. Your brother has one. They are really, really good knives, actually. I'm not into marketing and bullshit, but that's a good knife. Yeah, yeah sharp ass, be careful. Happy birthday. Hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's yours, man. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you for that. Well, it was gifted to me, and uh, I wanted to give it to someone who was worthy of it, and you're worthy of it, so oh, it's yours now. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thanks. Right, let's get the guts out. You can see where the spine is. Mm. Cut and keep your knife close to the spine. Yeah. Across. Put it down here. Mm. Get that in there, boy. That's good. Clean enough for our sandwiches. I'll let you do the guts, okay? You know how to do that. You're on a steep bank here. Be, be careful you don't slip and hurt yourself. This is the first time that uh, Miles has gutted a deer. I've started offering. And uh, like everything the first time, you might make a mistake, but that's how you learn. He's doing alright so far. So you want to get your fingers under that guts, bro. So that go down so you, you can't possibly cut it. You go right up the brisket. Nice one mate, probably enough there, up to the brisket, that's heaps. Now go back further, I've cut the bum out already so you should be sweet. Just don't pierce anything, make sure your hand's in a way where you can't pierce it. Not too bad that knife is it? Good stuff. Pull that heart out, I got it. Hey, let's have a look at that, bro. Look at that heart, bro. Heart shot. <laughs> heart shot. <laughs> heart shot, man. Right through the engine room and right through the heart. And that's what he hoped for. You don't do any better than that. He heart shot it. That's absolutely obliterated the heart. He's got a smile on his face. I don't think we're putting that one on the Barbie. <laughs> oh, I'm too old to carry that out, bro. You'll have to do it by yourself, sorry. Get the rifle on backwards, bro. <laughs> Go hunting with the clay, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> That's a good one. Young Miles put a load of goat and venison into his parents' freezer, and he sent me this photo of a feed he cooked them up. If you did enjoy watching this video, then please contribute a little bit to my Patreon page. You can join up for as little as $1 a month to support me in making these videos and continuing to do so. That's all. Be good. You can't be good. Be careful. See you later.